make this its own video at first just because you guys know I normally put my little thrift hauls in the middle of my vlogs but I went twice in one week because I am going to the renaissance fair this week and I needed to like find some last minute pieces but because of that you guys know okay I just found so many good things that I couldn't resist that I was like you know what I'm gonna make its own video again so maybe I am making videos how I used to but I just don't want my channel to become a thrifting channel how it was in the past because even though I do mainly thrift I don't want it to become a thrift channel I don't know if that made any type of sense you know because I still want to do a vlog lifestyle but again I do thrift so much that I might as well show you guys everything that I got as you guys know if you've been watching my vlogs I have like all of these books here because I'm trying to build an own little bookshelf in this living room kind of how Amber Scholl has it and it's actually surprisingly really hard to find like cute old school looking books at the thrift store unless you want to go to a vintage store um but someone had donated all of their like Charles Dickens books and this one I thought was perfect it kind of reminds me of like a storybook and I love the side of it just the light blue of it and then I can take this cover off and there's another cover attached to it but I like again the old school storybook looking think Belle the princess beauty and the beast that's kind of my overall aesthetic of how I want my house to look like. I mean, I say this in all of my vlogs, but think how Belle would have her library. That's kind of the books that I'm trying to find. And this Hunchback of Notre Dame, I thought was so freaking cute like just the cover and then again the sides of it I really want to do more of these reddish tones kind of here in this room however I did get a green one as well again this is another Charles Dickens but I loved it because the pages are actually gold so on the side I can maybe open it like this I don't know I also feel like this would be really cute Christmas decorations and then this brown one like this is exactly what I'm trying to find like literally old school library type of stuff i just love the cover on it i don't know maybe i'll like stack it on because i already do have a lot of books the books i have here are ones that i've actually read versus these are more decorations but who knows maybe i will be reading some of these i don't know the possibilities are endless but i do love my kindle and then i did pick up this victoria beckham book just because i think this is the classic and in my beauty room i do like to have a lot of random people's biography that are icons like i have pam anderson's i have kendra's i have a bunch of different ones paris's so i thought this one would be cute even though this is not a biography i just feel like this is something that will be so cool to look at in 20 years when did this book come out i think this came out in like 2000 in, let's see in 2006 so just to be able to look back at this again in the next 20 years I just feel like will be really cool as someone who just has always loved fashion I like to collect those type of books and then I actually found a jewelry holder finally for the longest time I have I mean if you guys have seen my vlogs it's just a chaotic mess and I do have like a ring stacker but I do want to start to actually lay them out and just put them in a drawer just so it's easier to look at because it's getting to the point where i have so much that i need to nicely display it that way i will wear it more and i don't know i just thought you know what it's time this was like brand new somebody must have gotten rid of all of their jewelry like someone that was a jewelry seller because there were so many stands and things there but i only picked up this and i also picked up like little boxes for my depop that came in like a huge trash bag and then this book i think is probably my favorite i like the fact that it says cd on it just the vibe of it even though again it is charles dickens this looks like a christian dior coffee table book that they would have during the holidays as like a holiday decoration and then also the top is red the sides are white but again another really cute piece especially something for the holidays i just love this i mean look at these imagine if i have all of these books stacked like this and then with the brown one just displayed maybe on that wooden shelf hi that is so freaking cute and another holiday thing is the 2001 holiday barbie i had to kind of tape the box because it is pretty beat up and again this is just something that i'm going to style not style but something i'm just going to display as a christmas thing i do have an early 2000s christmas tree so i think i'm going to put this one underneath it just to kind of make it look like it has a presence and stuff okay i'm telling you i am just a sucker for thrifting so many home things but there's just like a 
I can't pass it up. At least this time I didn't buy any pans or anything like that. I'm pretty much done getting kitchen stuff. However, this one says creamer on it with the little strawberries. If it has strawberries, I need to get it. And I don't really have a creamer cup. I do have like a tea set that comes with one, but this I just thought sitting out would be very cute. Again, I'm in that like Beauty and the Beast type of decoration lately and anything with a cute bear on it, I feel like I literally need to have. It's just a little jewelry thing and then you open it and it has two hearts on it so I think I might keep this by my nightstand or just put this on my jewelry stand as well and keep my nice rings in here around it it has all of these cute roses I mean is this not the most perfect little trinket box that you have ever seen in your life this shell this is just unreal. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. Originally, I kind of wanted to just use it as a serving tray and just kind of keep it stored, but I think I want to keep it out. I did find a leopard ottoman. Okay, it's behind the camera. I'll show you how I actually ended up like where I put it and stuff, but I found it for eight bucks. It was a little bit dirty on top, so I do have to clean it and stuff, but I think I might either put it where James's like dressing area is, or I was thinking I might put it over the Playboy rug just because when I sit there, I need to... Like, I want to be able to, like, lift my feet up or, you know, if I'm drinking coffee or something, I want to be able to set it down because sometimes I read there and I don't have really anywhere to put it. So, I might use that there. The problem is I don't want it to cover up the Playboy, so I might shove it in the corner. I don't know. I thought about putting this on top of it, though, kind of draping a blanket. You'll see how I style it, but I thought that might be very cute with it. And then you'll see I'm in my <laughs> shell hive. I found this pink one as well have no idea what i'm gonna do with it i thought about this could be cute in the bathroom because my bathroom has all of these pink accents in it or maybe again in that playboy area little room that i have would be cute i literally just want to keep it as decoration i'm probably not going to store anything maybe honestly even on my kitchen table i don't know who knows but i just get really excited when i find stuff like this because these are things that at a normal store would be so expensive, but at the thrift store, I think I got this for like two bucks. And then the very last home type of thing that I got is this little bear. Again, I'm into the bears, but it's a Christmas decoration. However, I'm going to the Renaissance Fair and how perfect would it be to just carry this around? I'll insert a photo of how I ended up dressing up as, but this would be so freaking cute just to carry around really will put the whole theme of it so i got it for that but then also i think this will be really cute as the christmas tree i do have two christmas trees so this one is going to be the one that's just like the normal one and not the um early 2000s one and then these boots i have been obsessed on pinterest lately like the very true re not true religion but boho like when i think of a fossil those type of brands um i think it was like the dolce runway i've been seeing a lot on pinterest lately and i've just been wanting those boots these are not the same at all but i think i'm starting to like fringe again for the longest time i was kind of like mm, i'm over it because i wore it so much in high school but i kind of like it i think that might be my thing in the fall is just fringe so i found these boots and the fact that they are exactly my size i am just in love with this little a steve madden bag it's so tiny i mean it's not that tiny I, I think the handles are just very tiny but it'll fit my phone it'll fit my diabetic supplies and that's all i need i'm just very into metallic bags lately the problem with that is a lot of them just shed from them being so old that's what really sucks especially if you get like vintage juicy bags the inside will tend to fall apart so this one i like that it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that i mean it's still pretty well intact so i thought you know what might as well get it again it has that same vibe where it's has that fringe not fringe but frilly vibe i'm very into this boho type of style i mean you guys have seen it in all of my shorts and kind of transitioning into fall i'm really into these browns how cute is this skirt it's not really picking up on camera like the true dark brownness of it but it has these little like black things where it kind of almost looks sparkly from far away but i thought this would be a cute bratz moment it reminds me of like a bratz rock angels and then i found this 
tank top which was hidden in the dresses so i don't know if someone was trying to hide it but i am so glad i found it because these are the type of tops that i always see people thrifting but i rarely find stuff like this like i always find cute lingerie tops and things like that but never anything that looks like this i don't know how to describe it i saw a tiktok the other day of this girl being like some of my best thrift finds it wasn't all in one day but she had found so many of these type of tops and i'm like why can't i ever be that lucky and then literally the next day I went and this is when I found this in the dress section what is even the brand of this this is literally doesn't even have a brand on it but it is just so adorable this a forever 21 this is probably like I don't know 2009 2007 very wet seal era again has that boho chic type of top with a medallion belt over it and the fringe boots Ooh, I am in love with and if you guys thought the fringe ended there it did not I'm telling you this specific fringe that I'm showing is the one that I have despised it is you can see like just this it's actually Shein it's a 2xl but I don't know if it was supposed to be a top or what but I wanted to wear it as a skirt and then how it kind of has these long things I want to wrap it around and tie it into a bow again with that bohemian look I'm very into it I just think it's gonna look so cute maybe with like a sassy saying top or again style it a little bit more in a boho way this I don't know if I'm gonna put up on my depop if you guys saw my last thrift video I did say how I'm not really picking up things purposely for my depop anymore normally the stuff that you see on my depop now is stuff that I will style and then I will put it up there just because I'm not into being like a full-time Depop seller anymore or anything like that. It's just not really my passion. I don't really want to have my own store or anything like that. This is just a way for me to not waste money because I do thrift so much, you know, and if I'm only going to wear it one time, I kind of want to keep rotating it so I can afford it to buy new stuff constantly. So this I thought might be a cute little piece to put on there because sometimes I will occasionally find things that I'm like, oh my God, that's cute that. I feel like one of you guys will have to have it so this was one of those things but again I might style it I might not I really love all of the pretty flower detailing and it fits again don't make me say it that boho vibe anything that looks like a knockoff Victoria's Secret sweats I need to have this the tag on it is adorable too because it literally says popular but it says ride on the back but then the front has a cute little one of those horses okay it gives very mustang vibes logo and again with just a tight sassy saying tank top one that might say b-i-t-c-h i don't know just perfect out the door grocery store run these black flowy skirts are my favorite i have to still try it on because it's not long because i'm not much of a midi skirt person just because i don't like the way it looks on my legs however i have long black boots that would cover it so i feel like styling it that way for the fall time would be very cute with like a lot of chunky belts layered who knows again the possibilities are endless and then this top did look actually a little bit too big so i'm not sure but it is this halter actually hold on it's inside out i just washed all of this but it has the big ring on it and again it gives very milf mom night out in like the early 2000s so we have gotten up like four times because i need to keep deleting memory off my camera so i just decided to just wipe everything so hopefully this is the last time i'm gonna sit down but i have brought the rest of the clothes that was in the pile and yeah the rest of it is literally just clothes this Dallas Cowboy again I've been talking about how I'm really into the Y2K like sporty anything with a number on it and I literally don't care about football don't care about any of that like don't get me wrong I like to watch it like it's I like the environment of it but I'm not like wearing this to rep the team I'm wearing it because it's pink it's sparkly and it's gonna look really cute with a pink velour sweats in more of the fall time I have this long I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell it's purple but it almost has like a sheen to it in a way I like that it ruches on the side and you can kind of see the purple through it it's actually sheen as well I don't know why but the past two times I've gone I've seen so much sheen there someone literally got rid of all their closet honestly it might have been the same person that got rid of like all of their ragged priests because it was a lot of 
more modern brands this past couple times that I have gone, which never happens usually when I go. I feel like normally I see those brands more when I go to like Goodwill and stuff like that. These sweats, I'm pretty sure were donated at the same time as when you guys saw the green ones in my last thrift haul. These are brown and I actually really like these. It has the pink on it. It does say 1865. Again, I think these are the Massimo. I just think they're very cute with the platforms. Obviously, this was probably someone's Halloween costume like when I posted um, a short of it. Someone was like, yeah, that was definitely someone's Halloween costume. Yeah, no shit. It says a little bit dramatic, Regina George, but I'm wearing this normally. Like, I'm not gonna wear this as a Halloween costume. You guys know I love a good sassy saying. And again, <laughs> pink velour sweats with a pink, you know, matching little zip up. In the winter, fall time, Ugg boots, hello. That is just my favorite go-to outfit. It is my absolute favorite. I am a lover for hats. This might be a little bit too small in my head. I'm not sure yet, but I love the peace sign and the font of it also reminded me of chrome hearts a lot. So I thought that was very cute. It has these little cutouts at it as well. Again, with a velour sweats are just gonna be so iconic this fall time. Finally, I found an Abercrombie. Well, actually, I can't say finally because I haven't tried any of this stuff on yet. I did just wash it all though, so we will see. But it is this Abercrombie & Fitch brown zip up. And I actually see these quite a lot, but they never, I never find ones that are gonna be like very tight and they're gonna fit me just right. So this, I feel like could be a very good possibility. So I am just praying that it fits. I just remember being young and never being able to wear Abercrombie like all the cool sixth graders in my school would. I was allowed to wear one Abercrombie, not allowed, but my parents could only afford like one Abercrombie thing like per school year. And it had to be something that was on sale. Like I couldn't get a jacket because their jackets were like 140. Like I don't even know how much this would be normal price back in the day, but I just remember always wanting to be able to like wear it. So I think that's why I wear so much of this shit now is because I was never able to wear it back in the day. So I'm kind of like living out my dream. And this, oh, I feel like might be a little bit too big. I'm not sure, but it is the coolest. Girls night out top. Again, very MILF vibes. It is XOXO and I just love anything with a cute little ring on it. It's like freaking adorable. Okay, the ass in my face is just not acceptable. Okay, the dirty ass. She's probably being needy right now because it's very close to her feeding time, but she did just wake up from a nap. It was so cute. All four of them were laying on the bed. Wolfie is literally laying right there, like right here behind this couch. You just can't see it. Harley Davidson tee. This one is just actually Alaska, which is quite funny because I got this for James. And as you guys know, he was in Alaska for a while if you guys watch my vlogs and he just came back. So I feel like that is perfect. Again, with the very chrome hard font, obviously though, when I think about it, being 26, when I think of this font, I do think of South Pole, but even the front of it gives me very like chrome hearts because I do have a chrome heart shirt that I actually found at the outlets years and years ago. Um, and it has this very similar vibe to this one. So I might put this one up on my Depop actually. A cargo skirt, it's actually brand new with tags, but I love this color on it. I wonder if it's actually reflective. You know, when you like take a photo and it like flashes, it like looks like that color, but nonetheless loved it. But I just wanted a cargo skirt. I see he has awoken from his nap. You can't tell me that this does not remind you very Lana Del Rey-esque. Oh, I know the fuck you're not. Hey, no, 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 no. God, these cats are gonna drive me. With the roses, very coquette vibes. So I thought that might be really cute and kind of a similar vibes. Again, I never find like tank tops that are kind of like this. I do, but I don't. It's kind of similar to the leopard one. So I feel like I really manifested this one. It's just adorable. This one might be a little bit too big though, but just the detailing of the ribbon. It kind of reminds me of Victoria's Secret PJs in a way. I don't even know why I'm wearing a robe right now because it is so hot, I'm like sweating. But speaking of Victoria's Secret, I did 
find this one it has the little dog on it with the recycled logo on it as well they did have just a plain one that said love pink which i feel like looking back i probably should have bought it okay i guess we have resorted to sitting here so hopefully you don't mind me just bringing down all of these coats I have been wanting one that has this fur trim like this specifically a black puffer just because again it reminds me of like 2000 C I knew she wouldn't last it reminds me of like 2013 kind of 2014 again it's just a black puffer but has the coat on it I just thought would be really cute for the fall time I got James this just simple ass Carhartt jacket surprisingly I find these quite often I did find him a Carhartt vest and then actually another Carhartt jacket but this one doesn't have a hood the other one that I got him has a hood so he has like I don't know options for when he goes to work and then this leather jacket I loved it's literally brand new with tags but I loved this on it like the way it drapes I don't know just that extra touch again very into that boho type of thing and I feel like Again, this just reminds me of something that I would have worn in like 2012. So I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm kind of liking that style lately. And the last couple pieces are actually lingerie. This purple dress is actually so cute. Again, very coquette vibes, but it is just the prettiest floral and again this purple shade i feel like is very rare to find alongside with this green color for the fall time it's so pretty it has the black lace around it and this one is frederick's as well i think i'm gonna keep this one i'm not sure yet but i just love frederick's slip dresses because i feel like the material is just so freaking good and it's a little bit thicker than a lot of the victoria's secret ones that i find so i'm able to wear them out as it dresses more than like the Victoria's Secret ones because those are a little bit more thin. The last piece of clothing is this lingerie corset top and with Halloween coming up okay you always just need one of these staples. Totally forgot I did actually get another hat this is just a pink tractor supply one with the camo i love a good camo hat and then the very last couple of items are two purses well actually not purses this is an overnight bag and it literally looks brand new like inside it looks like it was untouched and i can always use a new one i'm always traveling back and forth i'm actually going to be going to la pretty soon so this will be a really good one also this is like a good carry-on size for the airport as well and this bag i'm actually really upset about because it's so fucking cute okay again it has the fringe the cross the bedazzled but it is shedding really fucking bad on the handles on the inside and that shit is really annoying because it's just literally falling apart but the front of it is so cute so if you guys have any tips of how i could possibly because it's not like shedding bad but it's starting to so if there's a way that you guys know how to stop it like i'm thinking about super gluing it or something because the rest of the purse is pretty like intact like the inside isn't really that leather material it's lined with cloth and the like actual outside part of it is like okay i mean the side of it does have some filling on it so who knows that is pretty much it for this haul okay now i gotta put all this shit away and also the ottoman that i got was literally eight dollars which i'm so excited about i think i'm gonna do that now i need to kind of move everything around because right now everything is a mess and it's gonna freak me out but yeah that is pretty much it okay i'll see you guys in my next video